Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Nairobi, Kenya, and today I'm gonna meet up with my buddy James, and we're gonna take you on the ultimate Nairobi hardcore street food tour. So I'm about to meet up with James, uh, and actually I don't even know where we're gonna go. He's gonna take me to some spots, some of his favorite spots, and we're gonna eat some amazing street food today in Nairobi. Jemo! Yo! <laughs> What's up, man? Everybody say hello to James. Hello! He's a buddy of mine. We went to school together. Uh, yeah, and we're on our way to go eat. Yep, there's a place uh, right in front of the junction. Ah, oh, Sawa. Where they have all kinds of things. Let's get there, you'll see it. Oh, these are the spots right here? Yeah. There's a number of stalls here. Um, and James said he comes here frequently to eat. So this is... Oh, I can smell the fish. The omena was talking about right there. What is it called? Omena. Omena. They have a number of different dishes here, but you can see back here they're making the chapatis, which are the, the flatbread. Uh, but then they have ugali, they have cabbage, you can smell the stew, you can smell the fish, which is one of their specialties, which uh, James and I are going to try as well as some of their other their dishes. We got the fish, uh, we got ugali, we got cabbage, and I think we got some, some chapatis, which will be right off, the, right off the hot plate as well, coming very soon. Okay, I'll start with, we, we got some ugali and we're gonna share it all. It's a cornmeal, you can kind of play with it, you can kind of mix it, and then you can kind of scoop up with some of the, the little fish, and which is cooked with tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Oh, those little fish. Yeah. Crunchy, they have a little bitterness to them. Right. And then they're cooked down with those tomatoes, so that gives it that tartness. Okay, and the fresh chapatis have arrived. But yeah, the, the vegetable is called mboga zakenyegi. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had that before. Managu. Managu. Maybe yeah. not. Yeah, you have to specifically order for it. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's, not, it's not as common as some of the other vegetables. I, it's freshly fried. It's right off the hot grill. You can see the golden bubbles. Um, that have the blisters of the chapati. Oh yeah, it's so good. Perfectly flaky. Right. It's it's hot. It's a little bit gummy. Yeah, it goes great with all the food. Okay, I'll try some of this vegetable. Mm. Oh, I just signed up. The maharagwe. Yeah. Oh, this one is good. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. Beans, Beans with maize. Beans with maize. So, what I put a tumbo? Yeah, I took on a pressure pressure for tumbo. So, you get bloated. Yeah. Oh, like the gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The like gas. Ah, uh, okay. But just a little bit. Maybe I just taste yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Tasty. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You, you can eat samaki, gano, ah. dio, mahindi. Yeah. Oh. It's a little hard gas for tumbo. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Asante, matumbo, yes. matumbo, the stomach. Yeah. Ah, sawa, asante, sana. Oh, they're just bringing us samples of food. This is amazing. Uh, not advisable to eat too much githeri along with fish and vegetable because you might get kind of bloated and have gas. Okay, I'm gonna try some of the matumbo. There's some intestines in here, but it's mostly tripe and onions cooked down with onions and tomatoes. Close it. Mmm. Huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's really tender. It has a, a definite like natural kind of grassy taste to it. A daga. The actual fish is called daga and you can kind of mix it with the cabbage. And I'm gonna chase it with a chapati. You can grab that chapati. I love like the, the bitter flavor of those fish. And then that crunch, the saltiness, cooked down with those tomatoes and those onions, it's also good. Final dish is the giteri, which is beans, um, and there's corn in here, and it's also cooked with tomatoes. 
Yeah. It's, it's a little plain, but it's just that it just focuses on that starch. I mean, the corn, the beans, it's hearty, it's nutritious. Mm. That was a really good meal. So that is our first meal complete. This is a spot you come to this is often. I come to often. You're always here. And what's also cool is that it's like an entire bench table. So you sit together with everybody Everybody's and you can, you talk, you hang out, you you meet new friends. Right. Hey, nice to meet you, Asante. We are at Anne's place. Anne's place, yeah. Dagarati Corner. Yeah, okay. opposite Metrological. Place. You're Anne? Yeah. Ah, okay, very cool. And Anne is very welcoming. Uh, you can get all sorts of Kenyan food here. There's chapatis, there's ugali, there's sekumawiki, there's uh, matumbo. Sawa, Jemo. That was a great meal. Yeah, that was so good, James. Good way to start. Good way to start this. Uh, yes. Good way. To, great way to start this uh, Kenyan street food tour of Nairobi. And we're moving on next. More coming. Yes. James is going to take me to a cowhead soup spot, but we're going to jump in a matatu, uh, which is the a matatu is the form of the 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 most popular form of transportation, public transportation in Nairobi, in Kenya. Uh, there are minivans, there's an entire matatu culture in Nairobi. And yeah, we're gonna jump in one to get to our next food spot. Where are we heading, Jim? We're heading to Satellite. Oh, Satellite, okay. Just off of uh, Double H Corner. Ah, so that's where we're gonna eat next. Uh, but Matatus, they are known for their driving, usually quite fast. They're known for playing loud music. Uh, there, there's an entire Nairobi Matatu culture that's very fascinating and very artistic. Um, kind of mixed in with the hip hop and reggae culture as well. Uh, but it's always an adventure to take Matatus as well in Nairobi. How much is the fare these days? Uh, just from that, it's 20, 20, 20. It's so good to be riding back in a matatu. This brings back so many memories. Yeah, and it's a bumpy ride, and they're known for they're known for their extreme stops in the middle of the road. And we just came to like a a handbrake stop. <laughs> We almost went flying. Okay, and we made it here. Got off the matatu and we stopped by James's house. And James just recently had a baby, so huge congratulations. Jamie is so cute and so amazing. Yeah, he's 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 so precious. Uh, but uh, we are also stopping to have a chapati here. Uh, this is yeah, this is going to be a homemade. This is a homemade chapati. Oh yes. Oh yeah. And immediately as I pick up this chapati, it actually has a different texture than the chapati I just ate. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh, Zan Dezan, it's really good. Mm -hmm. It's like a perfect gummy texture. Like just a little bit oily to yes. hold it together. Jim, yeah. homemade chapati. Love it. Love it. Good stuff. Uh, good stuff. Uh, you being an expert of flowers, what do you think? The and congratulations you on your baby. Thank you. He's Thank so you. awesome. He's precious. He's precious. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Anne just explained that she she there was a secret ingredient in her chapatis that I. I only know, I can only tell now that she mentioned it, but now that she does mention it, I can, I can taste it. There's a little bit of peanut butter in these chapatis, so you taste that nuttiness, and they are excellent. Okay. That chapati was amazing, and it was such an honor to meet James's uh, baby, so precious. Uh, we're gonna continue this Kenyan street food tour at a place that James knows for the cowhead soup, which is uh, right in his neighborhood. James, you still hungry? Yep, I can uh, eat. Yeah. I can eat more. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Azana, Azana. Oh wow. This one is the soup. 
Well, this one is soup. Ah, uh, cow head soup. Soup. Ah, uh, sour. Yeah. Stomach clinics. This is the name of the restaurant. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is the this is the tongue, right? This is just a meat paradise and the name Stomach Clinic. <laughs> That's the name. Stomach Clinic. Yes. What a name. And so they're grilling some of the, the beef over here. You can see slices of tongue going yeah. on the grill right now but then yeah. on the on the other side that's where the soup is yeah yep. that's this cowhead soup which is in uh, it's sizzling in a barrel <laughs> They're making the cowhead soup in a barrel, and there are just these giant, oh, they're the heads, but the heads are tossed in, chopped up, uh, but you can still see some of the, the skin, the fur, the hair is in. It's all just the teeth, they're all tossed in the soup, so that all boils down. Um, and then they're also doing some grilled beef as well, so we're gonna, we're gonna eat it all, but this, this is a spot right here. Oh, James is cooking. we had it, yeah? Yo. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. You gotta serve your own meat. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's how much I come to eat here, man. That's how much you come to eat here. <laughs> we got our tray of meat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is I'm especially interested to try the tongue. Yeah. I'm going to travel in Ghana. In Ghana? Huh? Oh, yeah. We just went to Ghana. I'm going to try a piece of the the tongue, uh, which is what I'm very excited to try. Oh, ulimi. Ulimi. The tongue. Oh, the tongue is amazing. Oh, it's so tender, so overall, and so flavorful. The meat chunk here. For this one, I'll dip a little bit of salt and get some of that pili pili. This kind of looks like a, maybe maybe a piece of the shin. Wow. Wow. It's, it's so tender. But yeah, I love the pili pili. It's a little bit spicy, but it's so flavorful. That meat is so tender. Yeah. Everyone's here for the meat and the soup. No soup is coming. Okay. Okay. It's in milky. Is that from the from the the, yeah. the bone marrow? The bone marrow. Yeah. The green one. Soup puna pili pili. Soup puna pili pili. Soap, soap, soap. The pili pili. I was so funny, you normally take two, two of them. Sure. For me, spicy is okay. Do, do you want just the seeds? You, want, you, you can take the thing. Do you want the thing? Yeah. You like it with the seeds? To start. To start. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Where are you? I think we could have prepared the drama. <laughs> We're gonna drink the soup. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> it's really milky. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it's like, it's so rich. It's so, oh, okay. So rich in the marrow. So rich on the marrow. Yeah. It's it's actually like it is milky. milky. It is milky. milky. Really oily. Yeah. It almost is like melted, like cow butter. Really cow tasting. Um, really meaty tasting. Really grassy tasting. But really rich and hearty. And it's amazing. Actually, it's delicious. Wow. James, man. Yeah, that's like the real it's stuff. so thick. Yeah, that is like pure cow. <laughs> Yeah, that's just like, that just tastes like melted, melted meat. After eating, let me show you how to eat it. This one, boys, come with Bonya. This one is the same. Now we do like this, huh? I'm gonna take it to the back. This, 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 the, 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 the. And then the, what do you call this? Oh, just the inside there. The, yeah, now, now, no. this the you don't same. check this. Oh, you don't, don't check this? Yeah, now we check the, 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 the outer cover. The outer cover, yeah. We eat like this, eh? Gombero, but yeah. it's, 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 yeah, it's a, it's a natural root. You can yeah. smell it, smell it. Yeah, yeah, it almost smells like ginseng. Yeah, yeah. Ginseng. It's like ginseng, eh? Yeah, yeah. Or it is like ginseng, yeah? Like okay, ginseng. okay, so. Uh, 
Oh, the taste is good. Oh, the taste is really good. It's like it's like sweet, like honey. Actually, it's sweet like honey, and then and then it's like a little bitter. As we were eating the root, uh, then about a, decided to buy a Kenya Kenya bracelet. I needed one, uh, but yeah, I'm still eating the the root. <laughs> oh, so you don't need that centerpiece, though. No, you don't need the centerpiece. It's too much. Eat. It's really good. That is like a that is like a a sweet snack. Yeah, that's some of the best, most like thick, rich beef soup. Yep. Cowhead soup. Exactly. I've ever had. Every Sawa. weekend I'm here. What's the program? Travel the program? program? Yes. To just go around and eat today. Really? <laughs> as much as we can. That's the program. <laughs> Cut a sea of food? Yes. Cut a sea of food? Uh, just him and I together. Now you look at this. Look at this uh, KFC. We are walking towards the market now. Yeah. And there's some more food stalls there that we're gonna check out next. Veggie market. See the market, right. eat some more food. Right. Exactly. We made it to Dagoretti Market at the entrance. There's lots of clothes and shoes. Uh, and then we'll be coming up to the vegetable section as well. So we're walking through some of the back streets and get to some of the restaurant areas. There's bananas compact. and avocados, compact. oranges, compact. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We met up with Vincent who is from the market and he's taking us around, walking us through the stall to, to a food stall. Oh, dengu. Oh, oh, nice. Like this, that's all. Yeah, because we haven't had dengu yet. Yeah, okay. no, we haven't. Ah, uh, so. This is like a mixed plate. So we came kind of to the back of the market. This is the spot. Uh, they have sort of a mixed plate that includes beans and cabbage and dengu, which it's dengu, right? Which is the um, which is the green gram, which are mung beans. And so that's what we're gonna eat. You get a mixed plate, they scoop it all out, and then you can eat it with chapatis, but we've already had quite a few chapatis, so maybe we'll just eat the beans and the, the cabbage, yeah, next. How is it, Vincent? Is it good? Very good. The food. How is the food? It's, it's, it's Very nice. Nice, 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 nice. So, uh, the better. The best. Yeah. So. James and I are starting to get a little full, so we've decided not to have a chapati, but this would normally be served with a chapati. Uh, but on this, this is the whole mixed plate, so all the dishes they have. You can see the beans on this side, there's cabbage, there's a potato right in the center, there's some beef, and uh, the green gram, the dengu. Dig in, man. Next plate of food. Yeah, here we go. Mm. Mm. It's just like hearty mm -hmm. home cooking and you've got the starches in there, the beans. Mm -hmm. Ah, so you're eating the pork, the pork method, chapati. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and those are the fish that we ate at the beginning of the day, the same fish, those dried fish. They're from Lake Victoria, right? Yeah, they're from, from Lake Victoria. We're emerging from the market now, back onto the main road. Serious road work happening here. And James was telling me because of the rains, it's been like a swimming pool here, yeah? This would all fill up with water. Oh, that's a lot of rocks. James is giving up on the food. You're giving up. I'm giving up on the food. We met up with some of James's friends and we're stopping at Unity Cafe Hotel to eat some more food. Okay, so they have quite a few things on their menu, but they have some of the similar things that we ate, so I'm gonna try... Kumawiki. Dengu. Oh, that is dengu also. Yeah, this is dengu, this is dengu. This is minji. Minji. Yeah, I had the beef, yeah. Okay, but a mixed plate of rice. There's rice, there's dengu, there's another type of... Oh, the peas, right? Minji, yeah. the peas. Peas, yeah. And then... Hmm. Uh, beef. Beef, beef stew, yeah? yeah? Beef stew. Okay, with rice. Mm. It's, it's a little bit plain, but it's good. The meat is tender. It's stewed with tomatoes. You've got... I really like the mung beans. Mandazi is like a... It's like a fried dough. 
So then for this dish, they chop it up into bite-sized pieces, they mix it with a soup, and you can see some of the beans in there. And yeah, this is, we're all sharing that in the center. Mmm. Oh. This is actually my first time to have that. That's, that's good. It's like, it's like, because mandazi is a little sweet, yeah. yeah. Mandazi is a little bit sweet, but then mixed with the salty soup. It's like the contrast of sweet and salty, yeah? Yeah, that's the highlight of the meal right there. Okay, as I'm just gonna... We just finished eating and these are James and his friends uh, that were just hanging out. They have a shoe shop here, so this is a chill spot. This is where you guys hang out. Yeah, yeah. And we're just discussing the next food that we're gonna eat. <laughs> Come inside. Okay. Ah. Oh, can I see? Want to is see? It, is it okay? Oh, this is the. This is now the drop. Eh, hey, cow food. Ah. Mm. Cow food. Ah. Cow food. Ah. Yes. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? That is the cow foot. Yeah, cow foot. We walked over to a place that specializes in cow foot, boiled cow foot. Uh, but yeah, that's the whole foot. He has them boiling in that milky broth. This will be my first time for a cow foot like this. Oh, there's the fried foot. Yeah, if you want, you want some fried foot too? We can have. This one is the fried foot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you just take one of some of these pieces. Yeah. yeah. So you can take the bone, you can take the it's mostly skin. Yeah. This, skin, yeah? This ugali. Okay, you eat with the ugali. How yeah. So sweet. I got kind of a oily skin piece. Yeah, it's skin, but it's been cooked for probably so long that it has this crunch to it. And this one is the plain, just the boiled uh, cow leg. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That one has a little more grizzle to it. That is like the ultimate amount of textures in your mouth at once. It's jiggly, it's grizzly, it's fatty, it's crunchy, cartilagey bits and collagen bits. Yeah, that's like a uh, an amusement park of textures in your mouth. You take salt, put it into the put inside the bottle. So. So you shake like this, huh? And that's how that's how it mixes with the salt to create. Yeah. The, so it's foam, like it's the foam. foam. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So it gives it like a whipping shake, and that stirs it up. That creates the cap the cow soup cappuccino effect and gives it that foam on top, and that's why it's so frothy. <laughs> Sounds nice. When he slams that soup in the jug, that's such a satisfying, like, boom. <laughs> so, hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. How are you? Okay, cool. You know this one? Stronger than cappuccino coffee. <laughs> Here it is, our second beef soup of the day but this one yeah this one you could see him shake it and again it has that that real frothiness on top so it's like a it is like a cappuccino stronger than coffee oh yeah that is salty it's beefy and buttery it, it does taste like melted butter it's so thick and so rich and then with that marrow yeah Ooh, that's hot Oh yeah. Hello, how are you? Uh, hi. <laughs> I'm here in Congo West. Congo West. Yes. Congo West. Yeah, yeah. sweating, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking that soup. <laughs> and there's no airflow in there, so we all stepped outside to get some airflow. We're all sweating after that soup. That cow hoof. 
That was that was a unique thing to eat. Sawa, asante sana, Oscar. Okay, sawa. <laughs> All right, back at Dagareki Corner, and there's one more Kenyan street food that we need to eat to complete this Ken ultimate Kenya Nairobi street food tour. Yeah, you can see the smoke from the fire. Oh, James. This is like a sausage. This is African sausage. No, you know, 50. African sausage. Kenyan sausage. Kenyan sausage. What do you do? What do you do? Esophagus, but it's stuffed with something. That's the natural thing on the inside. Yeah, there's no problem. Oh, okay. Mugaroro. 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 And you kind of just choose what you want off the grill. He takes it off the grill, he chops it on the cutting board, and you just eat it from there. We're starting with some esophagus. Yes, and I thought it was like a stuffed sausage at first, but I think that is all natural. All natural stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. and put some of that in the. Then you yeah. put the mouth there. Uh -huh. It's really nice, you know. Mm. Mm. Oh, the pili pili is the nice. Pili -pili is there. Mm. The kachumbari is there. Oh wow, that yeah. yeah. is kind of very strong, like kind of spongy. Yeah. Mm. Oh, the large intestine. Hmm? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay, this one is the large intestines next. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, that one is so good. Yeah, so good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the intestine is so good. It's like it's kind of crispy, like caramelized, and just natural tasting. What is that thing? The other. Mutura, which is Kenyan blood sausage, so it's blood filled into there. Um, this is a, a favorite street meat, and yeah, you can dip it into some of that that uh, pili pili, that chili sauce as well. Oh, oh, mutura is so good. Oh, I have missed it. Oh, it's so good. It's not even like you can barely taste the blood. It's more like you can taste some onions, mm. onions in there. It's not like irony. No, it's just kind of like. It's really soft too. Very true. Really soft. And then held together with that intestine wrapper. Oh. It's one of the best things. Man, that is tasty. Awesome. I didn't know at first, but that blood sausage that we just ate, it actually is not blood. It's mostly minced meat. Um, the bigger, fatter one is actually the blood sausage. That's why it didn't have that irony, bloody taste. This one is the real blood sausage. You can see it's the fat one. It's thick. You can see it's mostly blood and there's some fat in there as well. Mm. Oh, that one is, that one's awesome too. It's really hot. That one is good too. Very hot. It's really good, yeah? It just kind of falls apart in your mouth. Right. Fatty too, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm Cow udder, and that's that big like white lump on the grill. So this is going to be our last meat off the grill. Wow, that is a unique texture. Very true. It's like chewy but crunchy. Yeah. And fatty. And fatty, very fatty. It's, it's, probably, it's all fat, probably, right? Yeah, basically. It's kind of like a little bit rubbery, but it kind of like juices as well. Yeah. Wow, that is. That's an interesting texture. It's pretty good though. Eat it right here and then you just continue on. This is a, it's like the ultimate meat fast food stop. Yeah, that's kind of greasy. So you can use a, they have some uh, newspaper napkins. That was an awesome way to end this Kenya street food tour. <laughs> that's so good. What was your favorite meat off the, off I like the grill? The, uh, I like the minced meat mutura. Oh uh, yeah, the best. That is, it All was the really time. good. The, the intestines are also really also good. good. We've come to the end of this Kenyan street food tour today with James. Yeah. I want to say a huge thank you to James. Did you have fun eating? Very much. So. Uh, I enjoyed every moment. <laughs> that was, it was, yeah, absolutely awesome. So yeah. huge thank you to my buddy James 
congratulations for your baby as thank well. You, thank you so much. And I will have all the information of what we ate in the description box below so you can check it out. And I want to say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click that little bell icon. That way you get notified of the next video. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next video.